Between the latest COVID-19 spike, flu, RSV, and the common cold, a lot of people are coughing everywhere, but coughs are more complicated than you think. Dr. Kumar is on call this morning to explain. Great to see you. Thanks so much Hi. for taking this time to talk to us this morning. So let's get to these coughs. What makes us cough? What are the different causes of the cough? Okay, so cough, I mean, it sounds like, it seems like coughing is the soundtrack for this winter. Everywhere you go, people are coughing and coughs are complicated. There are a variety of reasons why we cough, anything from our emotional state to the bacteria in our gut. But the three most common reasons why we cough are respiratory illnesses, acid reflux, and asthma. And there's an interesting connection between respiratory illnesses and acid reflux, because sometimes after an infection, after antibiotics, you can have silent reflux. So that's why you're coughing and you don't even realize it. Now, there are also some cardiac causes to cough. It can signal worsening heart failure or certain antihypertensive meds. But at the end of the day, coughs are complicated. So how do you tell the difference then between all of these types of coughs? Okay, so we look for clues around the cough, associated symptoms, the sound of the cough, the timing of the cough. Um, does the cough start after you started a new medication? Does the cough occur after eating a meal? Think acid reflux. Does the cough occur after exercise? Think asthma. And then is there a fever? Think infection. Is there a bitter, sour taste in your mouth? Think reflux. So we look for these clues to figure out why you're coughing. Wow, that's really quite incredible. Yeah. Now, this is something we should talk about now. When is a cough considered dangerous and maybe you should seek medical attention? Absolutely. So if you have a cough in the presence of fever, shortness of breath, or if you're coughing up blood. These are concerning symptoms. These are what we call alarm symptoms and you want to reach out to a health care provider. All right, so if someone's waking up and coughing this morning, how can they get some relief today? Okay, we want you to stop coughing because the more you cough, the more you cough because you irritate your upper airway. Also, the average cough expels 3,000 respiratory droplets and they can launch them as fast as 50 miles per hour. No kidding. So when you're get coughing, when you're coughing, you're really oversharing yourself with the world. <laughs> okay, this is where home remedies go a long way. Manuka honey has great inflammatory inflammatory properties can really help with the cough. Turmeric root actually has a compound that can also relieve coughs and hydration, hydration, hydration. If you are dehydrated, your body is gonna create more secretions and you are gonna cough more. Also look at your lifestyle. Try to eliminate triggers of coughs. Caffeine, alcohol, spicy foods, and strong scents. This is the time if you're dealing with the cough to leave off the perfume or the cologne. And then finally, if you had a respiratory infection and now you have a lingering cough, you don't feel like it's reflux, there may be some inflammation there. Reach out to your healthcare provider. An inhaler can be very helpful. Yeah, I remember years ago uh, when I was a kid, people used to like use steam to kind of clear their passageways. Is that something that you think about or as a possibility? It really depends on the type of cough. If it's an inflammatory cough, the steam can actually make it worse. So you really want to reach out to your doctor. And sometimes your doctors will say, well, let me hear you cough, because there's a lot we can tell by the sound Isn't of your cough. Something? Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. And so it's a different sound of a cough, depending on whether you have an infection or whether you have, again, that acid reflux. Right. So an acid reflux cough may be a dry sounding cough. An infection like pneumonia would be a wetter sounding cough. A barking cough would be croup. So oh, about that. Yeah. So yeah, just we'll get on the phone with you at least get, we get started with that. But exactly. yes, yeah, so many triggers, so many causes and incredibly uh, so many different coughs. Who knew? All right, yeah. Dr. Kumar, great to see you. Thank you so much for taking some time Thank to talk you. to us Take today. Care. We really appreciate it.